physician scientists are the key to the future, uh, simply put. Uh, we make discoveries, we see patients, and we apply those discoveries to patients. You have to pick a problem, you have to pick a disease, you have to study it well, and you have to compete with the rest of the world on those choices and try to be the best. And that's what we hope that people here will, will do. And actually, one of my best ideas for research I got in a clinic conference at the end of uh, a hematology clinic, and that dictated the research that I still embarking on for my whole career. Making antibodies uh, part of the immune system that can be directed against the cancer cells. Another friend of mine uh, said he got his best ideas around the autopsy table. We don't do many autopsies anymore, but, but it was an example of how the conduct of research and the conduct of medicine uh, come together in, in the mind of one person and make connections that are, um, that are pretty unique. They don't have enough role models um, in other places who are doing both. Here at Stanford, we have the role models. I think it's something that's intrinsic in the person and, and when you see it and get excited by it, then you seek it out for yourself. And so we're talking about mentors, uh, role models, examples uh, um, that really stimulate you. In my case, uh, Henry Kaplan was a famous radiologist and radiotherapist who really was the one who applied the linear accelerator developed here at Stanford to problems in medicine, to focus the beam right on the tumor. And he saw the application when he understood the physics. Monoclonal antibodies were invented here as a treatment for cancer. And uh, it, the list goes on and on. So the opportunity to, to learn about the, the most amazing advances going on in science, uh, right in your back door, uh, and apply them to the patients you see in the clinic or see in the hospital, is, is evident every day here at Stanford. Thank you.